Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Keep in mind this is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements. What's coming up for Pisces when it comes to love? Okay. Surrender and spiritual awakening. Some of you are... <laughs> Some of you are going through a spiritual awakening and you kind of need to just let it happen. Um, someone may be fighting against their spiritual moments. It doesn't have to be an awakening like the first awakening. It could be that you're just going through it. You have text message here. I'll see if Pisces. Okay, finances. Weird that these, this is the first time... I I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it's the first time, but I hardly see these two come out together. One says text message, one is unexpected. Both similar images, well, pretty much the same. So there's some communication coming in from someone. But your own personal life, your own personal journey is being highlighted as well here. So it's kind of like your guide saying don't be distracted by this communication that's coming in you still got some you know stuff going on for you so what what else do we have for pisces oh my god <laughs> what in the world okay someone is about to spin the block past returning so whoever's texting you is gonna be someone you spoken to before you dealt with before um, I always feel like someone's watching me be careful of fake pages <clears throat> good karma and health matters so a lot of you are still focusing on healing there's still this focus on self it's like you just keep saying you know there's someone coming forward but don't forget about you Okay, so the person you're thinking about, Pisces, let's look at that first and then we'll look at your love life in general. What's going on with Pisces and the person that they are currently thinking about? What are the energies here? just it's just giving me some straight up messages this person here they have feelings for you this is someone you had a breakup with so it's telling me despite the breakup you guys like this person is still feeling spiritually connected to you they still feel a deep connection you may have pushed this person out of your life some of you may have had two options and chose one Others of you could have just shut this person out. Maybe they did something. Or you weighed out the good and the bad here with this person. Mutual energy though. Deep down you might be missing them. Or, you know, you may have some... You may be on the fence. Like, good and bad energy towards them. Some of you. But, this is about a breakup. And somebody is sorry with the page of cups. So they make their text message could be an apology. <clears throat> this person's next move. I feel them taking the blame or being honest about what they've done. The, the Ten of Pentacles, you know, that's commitment, you know, that's. Some of you could already be married, but maybe you separated or just not speaking at the moment. Something to do with commitment here, though. Near future energy. So you are taking a leap back towards this person. But this Queen of Pentacles in reverse gives me the feeling that you're not 100% trusting it or not putting yourself in there 100%. And that could be to do with the fact that you're still working on yourself here. But this is someone who you, you wouldn't, you're not in contact with who is going to contact you. So let's look at your main spread. I'm not 
shuffling that so much. <laughs> All right, Pisces. What's coming up for Pisces? Eight of Pentacles. Same thing happened when I did, when I just did, um, I think it was Aquarius. Shuffling the Eight of Pentacles turns over. What do we have for Pisces when it comes to their love life? Okay. Divine timing here. What in the world? Five of Wands? Ah, I know the light flickering. Oh my gosh. Okay. What's going on here? This person, they see that you're, you're rebuilding yourself, working on yourself. They're in this Queen of Wands energy. They could be busy and they could be busy with a lot of things currently. You're in the King of Wands energy. Some of you, fuck, yeah, you got finances here. Some of you are, you may get increase in your finances or you may be trying to open a business or opening a business or something to do with money. You're, you're focusing on money here with the King of Wands. This person is busy. Maybe they have a busy job or something, but they could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, yeah, those are the signs I'm seeing here. They have the Queen of Swords too. Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, okay, so the feelings here. Some of you, like I said, you may have more than one option. You got a three here in your feelings, three of pentacles. Some of you may, may be seeing this person as a friend at the moment. But this person seems to be kind of focused on why you guys haven't reconciled. They're just being patient. I see that there's a um, temperance card here. Oh, my eyelash. Okay. All right. Seven of Swords, Blacking. Somebody kind of... Some of you may have walked away from this person. There's this energy of you just... Drifting away, wanting to focus on you, being distant. I'm getting that Pisces disappearing act. I haven't gotten that since I first started this channel like four years ago. I totally forgot about that. It's like a thing, apparently. Where Pisces, you tend to just drift away for some time in relationships. <laughs> what do we have here? Three of Cups in reverse. Why is this here? This person is very fixated on why you guys haven't reconciled, why you guys, yeah. They want to rebuild this. They see you rebuilding yourself, but they want to rebuild the relationship and they're kind of wondering why it hasn't happened. Um, some of you, they may be aware, like if you have someone new, they may be aware of that. But like still wondering why you guys haven't reconciled. Why the Three of Pentacles? You got the Temperance card too. And Justice could be a Libra, Sagittarius. Okay, it's a lot of balance here. Okay, whoa. Either you're waiting for the right moment or you feel like this person is your equal half. Or you're waiting for the right time to reconnect with them. Some of you may have asked for separation or asked for time, time apart. Not all of you, but why is this five of wands here as the outcome for Pisces? Some of you may find something out and there may be conflict. Oh my gosh, a five of swords. Something about a marriage. Someone may find out that someone's still married to someone or something through the marriage. The way how it came out in reverse, then upright. There's Taurus energy here again. 
Something you find out or something they find out may cause some conflict between you two. I hate that this is the outcome and not like something that's going to be resolved yet. But there's something that's going to cause, unless it's because you have more than one person and they find out that's if you do, something that comes out is going to cause conflict here. What is the deal? What do we have for, oh my gosh. What do we have for Pisces? Make the effort, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Pisces, you, you, some of you disappeared from this person. Not all of you, but there's a missing piece to this reading. I just feel like I'm missing something here. Codependency, manipulation, what in the world? Connection, passion, again, this reading just keeps getting more and more confusing. Give me a minute to figure this out. Okay. Someone may be holding on to someone. I need more, I need more information. Past life, past knowing. You see? You see? This is why I'm confused. Because I feel, Pisces, you, if you have someone else, you're not, like you're trying to keep it a secret even from me because I feel like it's at the tip of my tongue, but I don't want to say it because I feel like I'm wrong. It's like either you you have someone else and they're going to find out and you guys are going to fight or argue, whatever. Or it's them who has someone else and you're going to be mad at them. But there's a triangle here and it's some sneaky behavior. Or maybe it's just someone trying to court you, someone trying to get with you and they're tempting. It could be someone at work. It could be someone giving you a job. It's definitely, it could, yeah, because the knight, the king of pentacles, some, someone may be dating their boss. That's not for everyone. Or someone's, like your boss could be flirting with you. There's something top secret going on here, Pisces. And if it's your secret, then great. Keep your secret. Just know that your person might find out. But if it's your person, then it's for you to find something out here. But I feel like I'm locked out of this, this secret. The more I try to think about it, the more confused I get. Like... Someone's being sneaky though. You see the seven of swords is blocking. It's as if Pisces, you want this person, but you're dating someone, so you want to get rid of that person first or something. And it, you know what? That's your business. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Why the king of wands? What is going on with Pisces? The king of wands. So me maybe dating this king of wands, whether it's male or female, you probably try to let go of them. Maybe you feel more connected to the other person. What's going on with this love triangle? That's what I should ask. What's going on with this love triangle for Pisces? Whatever it is, whatever this love triangle is, someone's trying to get rid of a third party. For example, if you have 
two people, you're trying to get rid of one quick before the other one find before the yeah, before the other one finds out. Like you're trying to quickly make the cut here before you get caught. And if it's not you, then it's your person trying to do that. But I feel like someone's already made their choice and they're just trying to figure out how to cut the other person, how to get rid of the other person um, so that they can be with, for example, you can be with this person or so they could be with you. <sighs> okay, so I got in. I got into the secret a little bit. But yeah, someone's going to be reaching out to you. It's just saying don't lose sight of your own spiritual journey, but someone's going to be reaching out to you. Maybe maybe this is maybe these two came out cuz there's two people that you're texting. Possibly, and all this isn't for all of you. But there's going to be communication and I don't I feel like I don't feel like communication is going to be an issue. The issue is who are you going to choose? Who are you going to be with? Or who are they going to choose? So, Pisces, this is what I'm seeing for you. I hope this was helpful. There's Taurus energy. There's Sagittarius and Libra. Those are like the strongest. There's Aquarius. Sagittarius, yes, yeah, Sagittarius. So, feel free to check your other places if you want to know what else is going on. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.